Today, we're exploring Los Alamos, a quaint food and wine paradise town just northeast of Santa Barbara. And to explore any city, it's important to talk to the people who call it home. So how would you describe Los Alamos? Los Alamos is a little bit of a wine getaway. My first tour guide is Jacob. He works at Lo-Fi Wines, a small wine bar with big culture. The kind of place you can't help but sit back, relax, and listen to a vinyl record. Low manipulation, um, not, a lot of, uh, not any additives to the wine, and low sulfur usage as well. We like to spin records here, and we have a great record collection, and, and all that really ties in with our kind of hands-off approach in the, in the winery. Bell Street takes you on a short but sensory experience from foods to wines. You can feel the love in everything that hits your taste buds. Nicole is my next tour guide. She works at Bodega Los Alamos. It's the kind of spot every city needs, a tranquil, easygoing place to sip on a local wine or beer while sitting by the fire. I hope you come hungry and thirsty because you can literally eat and drink your way through one street and have the most delicious, amazing food, beautiful, locally grown wine, all in one punch, and you're good to go. All on Bell Street. All on Bell About Street. About a 10 minute walk, right? Yep. With more to explore in this rolling hill wonderland, it's the local recommendations that provide just the insight I need to visit my final spot. Where should I go next as a spot that you have to visit if you're coming here? I would do a tribute to Grace, a female winemaker by the name of Angela, beautiful, sweet woman. She is known as the Queen of Grenache. Um, brand new tasting room right at the end of Bell Street. Beautiful wines, definitely something you want to indulge in. All right, I think I'm gonna check it out. Thank you so much. You're very welcome. I appreciate it.